All right, how's it going, everybody? My name is Drew Gerson. Welcome back to Street League Racing Redline. Last time we left off where we, we lost our car, and I was messing around with the game a little bit more. And I promised you guys one thing last time that I did not deliver. So I figured today would be a good time to deliver. If you remember, we spoke a little about taking a Volkswagen Beetle and then maybe just slap a huge engine into it. And I, and I think that also honestly sounds like a great idea. Before we settle on a car, I'm just gonna browse through the catalog here and see what we can find because I wanna find the smallest car and the most absurdly huge engine that we can insert into it. So I went ahead and bought the Beetle here for us. The engine, sh yes, it is indeed slapped in. Wait, what? Did I remove that? I did not mean to remove that. So there we have the engine and I think the only thing that is so cursed. Back on to removing the engine here. The only thing we have to do now is simply to go into the engine catalog once again and just see if we can find the biggest engine possible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. Oh, we used that one before, so. Yeah. So while this engine block is only and I say only a V10. It's also almost $11,000, most expensive one I found so far. So we're totally gonna buy that. Now we just have to figure all of the crap here that we need. And I do not remember. I'm gonna base this solely off of what looks more expensive. So I guess we need this. Those are some connecting rods. We need a crankshaft. I know I know an engine needs a crankshaft in order to run. I have no idea if we need this, but well, let's just get it. I don't even know why I ask you guys if you need it. You're not here to tell me anyway, so I'm just... I'm just gonna get one of everything about that. Uh, that that's that's probably the best way around this. Brain shift bearing bridge. Sounds important. Let's get it. Oh, oh, oh no. I was just about to buy the cheap one, and then I figured, hmm, there's an expensive one. Let's get it. So there are honestly so many parts to this engine that I have no idea where to begin or start. So I think the only re real thing to do here is... Yeah, nope, none of those yet. So that took just about forever, but <laughs> finally got the engine put in here. And as you can see, judging from the wheels on this thing right now, this is in perfect scale with the car. So let me just show you how well this actually, oh my God, how well this actually matches the car. Okay, okay, okay. I know you're thinking, isn't that engine just a bit too big for the car? I will admit that it might seem just a bit like an overkill, but once we get this thing spinning, you're gonna eat your words, I guarantee it. So all we have to do now is just simply to rotate this thing around. Yeah, no, that's not better. It doesn't matter because our car will still be able to function just fine, even like this. First thing we gotta do, get that turbocharger. Push that thing up to five bars instead of just four. Four is way too low. We cannot be asked to put that little pressure into our turbos. There we go. Up that a little bit. The fuel we don't want to mess with yet because I honestly have no idea where that has to go. Whoops. Let's just see how many are. Oh, okay. Let's bring down a little bit. Just a little bit. And let's see. 1,200 horsepower. I, I expected more. Well... Good thing that I found while browsing the engine catalog. Once again, I found this thing. I have no idea what it is, but just right out of the bat, 1500 horsepower. There is even a tuned version of this that de delivers four and a half thousand horsepowers. Now, what is that? And the thing is that at the moment, oh, I don't really know if we can actually fine tune anything here at all. But the th matter of fact is that we should be able to change this somehow into around four and a half thousand horsepower. But for now, we're going to start off light. We're going to put this engine back in. And I think we should take this for a test. <laughs> Imagine rolling up to a car meet in this. This is all engine, no car. Let's see what this thing can do. Oh my God, that is aggressive. Okay, do we just start in the first here? I think we do. Okay, a little bit of wheel spin, little bit of wheel spin still. Um, yep, we are still having. Oh no, quite a substantial amount of wheel spin, but you know we're still just going. I think this engine has enough power as just what we need for now, at least. Oh god, it's gonna spin out again, isn't it? Let's just. Yep, still wheel spinning in fifth. It's fine though. Yep, still wheel spinning in sixth as well. Okay. Oh. Crap. Okay, so we did just lose all of our... Yep, we did lose all of our wheels. The engine is still fine, though, so that's okay. 
uh, we gotta go back to the workshop and maybe just get a new engine onto here and maybe just general you know, repair the car because it is a bit broken but i'm liking what i'm seeing so far so 9000 rpm that was i don't even know what to say i think that was fine <laughs> all right so we need some new wheels because we kind of lost those as we crashed i'm gonna go for some rims here put it on the back and this thing as well on the back these two here those on the back nice all right so there we go there's our drag tires oh god why are these so huge i think we're gonna take those away again so as i was browsing great where did it go okay it's back perfect so as i was browsing through different tires here i found i found some pretty interesting ones i found these called a cheetah slick is this supposedly some cheat tire i mean if it is i'll definitely take it there we go perfect and then we just got to get these on too that looks very good now why is this a cheat tire inflation let's just turn it all the way down because we need that deflated tire in case we want just a little bit of grip there we go awesome and then and i would say at this point i feel like this car is actually ready to take to the streets oh silly me how could i forget we need a big wang there we go perfect wang fits perfectly into our tiny tiny engine bay here which looks super dope so you know what i'm gonna go street race now it's about time well how convenient that the street race is literally right outside of our door here now we only have to get oh my god this is fast but i don't really know what i i haven't actually said oh wow okay yep so the new wheels are definitely working. It's going to slow down a bit here. We have to figure how to drive this first of all, because I think we can maybe start in like fifth, seventh, eighth gear in this and still be okay. Let's just try that. So yeah, third gear works fine. We have absolutely no brakes on this. Wait, actually, this is pulling on all four wheels. I wanted to only pull on the rear wheels because we got to pull some wheelies. Good thing we have our magic tool here. Now, wait a minute. Did that say 100% there already? I think it actually did. Oh, well. Darn it. They moved the uh, they moved the racetrack. So let's see where they went now. They went down there. We got to experience this from, from inside. Here we go. First person view. Oh, no. Nah, we're fine. Here we go. You know, just to start in that third gear. And I think we are off. And where is he? Okay, he's down there. Perfect. I don't think we have to worry too much about that anymore. Oh, we only did 260 by the end of this race. I have a feeling we can do this better. So this dude decided that he wanted to race us. I don't know if you can hear what I'm saying, but this dude decided that he wanted to race us for pink slips. Why is he so freaking fast? What is this? He's actually faster than we are. We're going to lose the car again. No. All right. Um, let's just get a new one here. What about the engine of this good thing and put this in instead. Besides having this super weird psychedelic graphic glitch right now that I don't really know how to describe best. I found a really good engine. So let me just see if I can fix this graphics engine here thingy. And, and then, then, then I'm going to then, then I'll be back. Oh, well, that should be taken care of. And, and again, we, we just have an engine that fits very well into this car. Can we just... Can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this looks? Yeah, that's probably acceptable. You know what? I'm going to change out these rear tires again because I think I could feel like it benefited us quite a lot there as we as we took those away. So let's delete those and go buy some proper, proper racing wheels here again. We forgot the most important thing. Oh my God, we can make this even worse. Was it like six and a half, six thousand horsepowers? Oh yeah, 7,840 horsepowers. Let's just go for one test run in this before we actually take this to the streets. But I mean... What could go wrong? Oh my god, I'm scared. Yep, so apparently a lot can go wrong. I spoke too soon, but I mean, we are doing 314 kilometers an hour right now. We are still pulling a wheel, wheel spin at this point. So one of the two things is going to happen here. Either I fly over this house or we smash into it. And I would honestly prefer to just fly out or go back to fly over or go back to the garage because I don't want to rebuild this. But I know you guys are going to hate me if I don't see what happens here. We're fine. I love it how the moment you kick this build, this car into gear, it just starts going nuts. So this is actually a circuit. I just realized that. Can we drift this? I don't know if I want to call this a drift, but it's definitely doing something. I don't know how I can, what else I can do here to just stop me. 
pull in nothing but wheel spin. I mean, we can mess with the gears a bit, but at this point, I don't know if anything is going to work out. When we have 8,000 horsepower slammed in to a Volkswagen Beetle, um, I honestly don't think not much is going to change no matter what we do. So let's just go race. In an effort to see if we can not do wheel spin at 300 kilometers an hour, and I, I actually changed the gears up just a little bit. Oh god, our rear tires are red down there. I don't think that's good. I don't even know if we can actually pop our tires. Let's just get down here and... So can we still start in 6th gear here? Oh yeah, we can. May just want to start in 5th. Yep, that should be fine. Let's go! Can we see the guy who stole our car? He was in that car, so... Oh my god, Kenny Surestar, what is that wang? I mean, I can respect the effort to have a huge wang on that build, but... There has to be some sort of limitations to this. But nevertheless, see it later, wouldn't want to be it. Oh my god! Yep. So it's probably only going to be one race at a time because after we raced once, the car is just dead. Like, it just dies. I was about to say, we probably still have a wheel on here, but no, we don't. But we're just literally driving on the brake calibers right now. It's okay. Back to the garage. <laughs> So all it really took was a little upgrade here to fix the car and we're actually ready to race again. So I went out into the city with my new wheels. Yeah, I don't know either what I'm doing at this point, but hopefully they work. Yeah, nope. For grip, I don't feel like, uh, do I feel it? Oh no, God, no. Please don't. I, no, I don't feel a difference. I don't think so. Let's just, come on, go. Perfect. This car has a decent amount of pop. Well, back to the garage again. I feel like we need a new approach to this. So instead of keep doing this, I need something where we can just go straight forward, please. Nevada drag. One of a kind, one on one drag race on the end strip of the ROC track in the Nevada desert. Nevada downhill. Does that sound like something for us? We must survive the track two times as you need to win two rounds to win the tournament. That sounds just like something we want to do. So this is supposedly the track that we have to go through. I mean, I don't really know what to do with this car. So I mean, I guess we should just keep going. Wait, there's... Am I going the right way? Oh god, this is terrible. Why did I volunteer to do this? Yep, just... Oh, crazy! What's... Come on, steer, you good thing. Did I lose the wheel again? No, I didn't. I'm perfectly fine. I have no idea what this is. I like it. Oh. Okay. Oh, we're pulling a wheelie! No, get up! Okay, we lost. We're in that shared P1 this time, so I think it's going to be much better. I'm going to blame our failure to the yellow car there. So let's just go down again. Oh, God, no. Oh, yep. Here we go again. I want to say that I have control over what I'm doing right now, but I just I just don't. So I would be lying if I said that I did. All right. Slow and steady wins the race. Someone is all the way, all the way over there already. Drive, dang it! You seem to be a little bit stuck. Oh, I fixed it. I think this is just the way to go from now on. Okay, we lost again. Dang it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is our time to shine. I found a proper dread. Why is our door open? And what on earth? Can we talk about the exhaust pipes that this dude kept going? Oh no, we messed that up a bit. I think the car is like, my I need you to move out of the way, homie. Oops. That's okay. That's okay. We can still win this. We can still win this. Not going to give up yet just because of that one failure because he blocked us. There we go. Look at that. That's the start we needed. Now, oh god, they're actually requiring me to steer here. Oh, perfect. Are we going to slam onto this wall down here now? I really do not hope so because then the car is just done. Oh, yes, we are. And this is the last one. I think this is going to be for the W. Oh, god. Kind of. Nope. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Don't lose the engine. Oh, good. There's more... When did I win this? When do I win this, rather? I didn't win yet, but when I do, do I win? Because this is getting boring. No. <laughs> Sucks to be a winner, you know? Oh, yep, yep. Into the wall again. Oh, God, this... No, what? Because the momentum from our wheels just pushed us the wrong way. What is this? So just as I was about to end this video, because we got kicked from the tournament for being too sexy, I realized in here that we have all sorts of different things, like a wheel friction multiplier. I don't know what... If it does anything at all, but there are a lot of things in here. What is... If we just crank this all the way... Oh. Now the... Oh my god, okay. I don't know what I did. Okay. 
I meant for this to happen for anyone asking. Let me just not do this even anymore. What if I just up this all the way? Oh my god. Okay, we got a lot of Yep. That's very that's that's a trick. Yeah, we fine. We we'll break factor. Just get this down. Just one please. I don't wanna I don't I'm I respect I respect this is what I'm interested in. So here we have collision falls multi-map objects. Maybe I should just see what this does before we crank this up too much. Actually, you know what? We should do a video on this. We have to mess with these more. I, I just want to see what happens. What's going on with the wheels? Why are they why are they spacing out like oh no, hello! Ooh, that was close. What if I find another dude too? Like I, I need to find a, a car that I can crash into. I think the brakes are constantly applying or something like that. The game is sort of spacing out a little bit while I drive, but I mean, I guess that's okay. Oh, there's a car. So we turned up some things here. If I crash into this, what happens? Oh my... G oh my god! Okay! Oh, this is not gonna stop, is it? Like, where am I right now? We've gone to space. Okay, how do I stop this again? So I'm... Oh, we up these to seven. That was not even... I didn't mean to... Oops. There, I guess, is fine. Where is the car? Oh, it's right here. Oh, I stuck the landing at least. Yup, car is fine. Wheels might have seen better days, but I mean honestly, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold my wheel front wheel responsible for that. All I can say is that that was all for this episode. If you would like to see more, don't forget to leave some com comments down below and let me know what you think of this game and what other sorts of shenanigans we should pull. I am definitely loving this. There is still a lot of things we can mess with in this game. I'm pretty sure we could also try to play it more seriously if you want to, because there is a lot of nice tracks. But, um, yeah, I feel like this is a good time to end the episode. So thank you so much for watching and stay safe until next time. Bye bye.